Hello friends, this is Umesh Mari. Welcome to my channel and Engineer's Guide. So guys, uh, if you remember, previously we have learned about an Excel function known as VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So guys, uh, as we all know, there are some limitations using those Excel functions known as VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So we will find some another tool to overcome that limitation. So guys, before moving forward, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which will be free for you, but will give me a lot of motivation to create such useful videos for you. Also click on the bell icon to get the latest update from our channel. Thank you. Now the function we are going to use to overcome the limitations of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. The function will be index match. So actually there those two functions are different different functions one index is another but and match is another function and you are going to combine the functions which are known as index and match so guys if you want to know how to do this please stay with me and we will see how to use the combined formula of index match so guys here you can see i have opened the same excel sheet in which we learn about how to use an excel functions known as vlookup and hlookup now let's revise the concept to use the vlookup and hlookup so by using vlookup uh, we got the corresponding values of a b c d after the assigning some value to the x now let's consider uh, i'm going to assign the value of x as a 1.6 so here you can see when x is 1.6, a is equal to 135, b is equal to 145, c is equal to 155, and d is equal to 165. So if you check, when x is equal to 1.6, a is equal to 135, b is equal to 145, c is equal to 155, and d is equal to 165. So in this fashion, the VLOOKUP work, and in the same fashion, HLOOKUP also works. Only the difference in between two is uh, HLOOKUP checks horizontally and VLOOKUP checks vertically. So guys, if you want to learn VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in detail, uh, we have created another video especially for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So if you see that video, so you will get a very better clarity about using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Now I have some another problem. I want to find out the value of X when X is equal to 1.4 and I want to find the value of X corresponds to C when X is equal to 1.4. So now here I have to assign value as 1.4 and here I am going to assign the value as C. Now here you can see when X is equal to 1.4 and I have to I need a value of X corresponds to C. So here answer is 115. So guys do you really think that such type of result we can get by VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP? Of course not. So to get such type of result we have to use an excel functions which is known as combined use of index match. So now let's see how to use this function. Here I am going to show you one formula. See first of all just say equal to index then you have to select the complete data so here is a2 to e6 so here we have selected the complete data after that we have to provide one column provide one comma and then place one conditions match f10 so i'm taking the input from this cell that's why match f10 then a2 to a6 so please note this carefully i have selected the range a2 to a6 so it is total first column then comma 0 0 stands for exact match then i'm going to put another condition match g10 so i'm going to, i'm taking the input from this cell so this is my g10 so g10 is for my values in row so then i have to select the range a2 to e2 a2 to e2 so here the range is a2 to e2 comma 0 so this is all about how to use the excel function known as index match so guys if you think you got some value from our video so please like our videos and share it with your friends and colleagues and please keep supporting thank you